so it has come to this. Good men, torn from their kin, to rage and spill the blood of other men's foes. But we will not be forgotten. Greetings, my esteemed subscribers. I am taking an ever so quick break from my rather hectic schedule to have a look at Total War Troy. Now, I will not play this yet. I won't make a let's play per se, but rather just a quick overview. I might give it a go later in the autumn when things calm down a bit, but at the moment I have far too much on my schedule to put aside time to properly enjoy this uh, fine game. But I thought to just show it to you. I also thought to give you a book recommendation. You probably saw it on my Instagram account. It's a um, series of four books which retells the Iliad and Odyssey, but uh, rewritten to make it a bit more easy to digest for a modern reader. Now, of course, you can read the original Iliad and Odyssey, but if you want to get through it a bit faster, make the language a bit more understandable, then I can definitely recommend the the book series. I'm on the third book right now, and um, yeah, it's good stuff. So that is the book recommendation for the day, or book recommendations, should I say. So anyway, we are here in Bronze Age Greece, the Greek world, and we're gonna have a look at the main heroes. So the trailer I opened up with, I'd say Achilles, in my imagination, looks a bit more youthful than uh, in the trailer, but, uh, you know, it's all good anyway. So we have here the main guy, Achilles, warlord of the Myrmidons. You can play as him, looking quite aesthetic indeed. Then we have the king of men, the Mycenaean king, Agamemnon, the main driving force behind the, um, the invasion of uh, Troy. He is the main king of the Greeks, and he obviously wants Troy as a prize. Then we have Odysseus, the brains behind the operation, and also the main character of uh, the Odyssey, his way back to his wife in Ithaca. So, um, yeah, good, good uh, man right here. Also his idea to create the Trojan horse that eventually brings uh, the, the Western Greeks the... Uh, the victory. Then we have the tragic Menelaus. He gets uh, cucked by Paris. He gets his wife Helen stolen by uh, Paris and uh, that is the spark of the war. So they go to war on his behalf but it's um, also due to his older brother's ambition. So Agamemnon here. So those are the uh, Western Greek heroes you can play as. And then we can look at the Trojans right here. We have Hector, my uh, favorite character in this whole in this whole epic saga. Um, you know, dutiful older brother who defends his city against uh, the invasion force. So you can play as him. And if I do play this during the autumn, I will probably play as him or perhaps as Achilles. Who knows? We'll see. Then we have the the villainous Paris, Paris of Troy, who abducts Helen from uh, from Sparta when they're there on an 
diplomatic mission. So you can play as him as well. And here we have the legendary Aeneas, if I pronounce that correctly. And uh, you have plenty of later European peoples who claim descendantship from this individual. So the, the last Trojan who manages to escape westward. Then you have here a um, king of Lycia you can play as well. So we're going to have a quick look at the campaign itself. Just looking at the aesthetics. So we'll choose Achilles. In and yeah, you have a bit of different options here. I'm not going to go in far too much. Um, I'm just going to get into the game. Are we mere playthings of the gods? Or do we plead divine influence to justify our foolish choices? He's taken her! He's taken my wife! You've risked the safety of Troy. Troy is my home now. You have my oath, brother. She will be returned to you. Brother, I can fight! Go. Seek shelter. There'll be plenty of fighting ahead. Helen's flight was a grave wound to Achaean pride. King Menelaus will have his revenge. And his brother will have his war with Troy, just as the gods intended. Right, so another epic intro there, and you can see the artwork in the background here. Quite true to the um, time period as well. So that is nice to see, no doubt. Oh, swift-footed Achilles. There is only one response to Queen Helen's abduction, and that is war. Brother, your foolish passion has doomed us. King Agamemnon of high-walled Mycenae must avenge this insult to his brother. You are the ultimate warrior, king of Thea, and commander of the Myrmidons. Glory in battle is my god-given fate. Your ally, King Lycomedes, rules the Isle of Skyros. As a boy, you were sheltered in Lycomedes' court on your father's command. Now you must protect the old king in turn. Heed both threats from enemies like the Elopeans and opportunities that come your way through friends such as prosperous King Oelius and his son Ajax the Lesser. The independent Thessalians could be a bulwark for your western flank. Keep your courage, lion-hearted Achilles, for you know well that fortune favors the bold. Fortune favors the bold. A most correct. The enemy sends statement. their warriors against you to ravage your lands and sack your cities, but perhaps they underestimate your strength. March out, engage them in battle, and put them to flight. All right, so we can see the map is looking absolutely splendid let's say look at this water i want to go for a swim is looking at it so um yeah quite quite nice graphics as well and you see the sand colored things the sand colored map here is where you haven't explored yet so i suppose you can do that then achilles, the champion. achilles there with some of his uh, uh, troops so anyway, it looks uh, quite nice. Nice graphics, nice aesthetics also in the background. Uh, if you look at the skyline there, it's made in the same artwork as we saw in the uh, loading screen. Beyond so um, yeah, good stuff, good stuff. I just thought to show you that. Now I will 
continue with the aforementioned hectic schedule. So if you haven't already done so, you can follow me on Instagram and Telegram if you want to keep updated on, on uh, things and get book recommendations, etc. So anyway, thank you for watching and have a great rest of your day. XOXO, boom!